To get started, I just added a video to my timeline that I'd like to add some rolling end credits to. Let's begin by going over to the Media tab and clicking the New button. Select Plane. In the pop-up, click the Match Timeline button so that the resolution of your plane matches your timeline. Then I'm just going to name my plane as Credits. And make sure you have the black color selected before hitting OK. Now drag your plane after your video on the timeline. With the Selection tool, drag its edge to extend the duration you want your credits to play for. Next, let's go over to the Effects tab. Type Crawl into the search box. Drag the End Credits Crawl effect onto your plane. Over in the Controls tab, open up the End Credits Crawl effect. Then open up Element 1 Settings. Click on Element Title to type a title for your end screen. Click the A next to Roles to type out the roles for your video. I'm just going to paste mine in from Notepad and make sure that you start a new line for each role. Then click the A next to Names to type out the names for all your roles. As you're typing out names, make sure that they're in the same order as the roles so that they line up. Okay, and now when I play this back, we have some nice looking rolling credits, but they're a bit small, so let's fix that. Back in the Controls tab, open up the Text Format Settings. Then open up the Title Settings. In here, we can change the font and do a couple other things, but I'm just going to increase the font size of the title. Then open up the roles and names and adjust the font settings as you'd like. Okay, now that looks a lot better. If you want to increase the speed of your rolling credits, just drag the speed slider to the right. If you do that, you might want to shorten the duration of your plane unless you want a long black screen at the end of your video. As for the number of elements, it's probably not a setting you need to worry about unless you're working on a really complicated end screen. But basically, it just creates additional elements like the one you worked on earlier in case you need to break things up into subcategories. Like, you could have an element for video producers, one for writers, and another for actors rather than having a long list with roles and names. But anyway, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.